Hello, I'm David Paulson, and I want to talk to you about a book that I've written. I've written quite a few books, but one particularly came about, I wonder if you can remember the tsunami, that great under-ocean earthquake that caused a huge wave to sweep across the Indian Ocean and killed many, many people and destroyed homes, made a mess of the Indian coast and the coast of Sri Lanka and all around the coast of the Indian Ocean. Well, of course, a lot of people had questions after that. How can a loving God allow such a dreadful disaster? And that's a common question that's been asked all the way through the ages. Well, now, I had a unique opportunity. A television station in London said, David, would you come and answer the question, why does God allow natural disasters on television spontaneously? Would you just talk about it? I said, well, how long would you give me? And they said, three hours. Now, that's quite a tall order to talk for three hours about one question. But anyway, I did it in three separate one-hour slots for the television company. Well, those talks have been put into a book called Why Does God Allow Natural Disasters? And I really have tried to come to grips with what are very big issues, because it doesn't just apply to the tsunami, the wave that crossed the Indian Ocean. It applies to earthquakes, typhoons, tornadoes, and I'm talking in Tornado Alley here in Kansas City, but it, it covers personal disasters, cancer and all kinds of things that can happen. But I picked it up because of the tsunami. And the question really boils down to what kind of God you believe in and how you think he relates to the world in which we live. And I tackle all those questions at that level. People may not think I've answered the question completely, but I've tried to look at it from a Christian point of view and just get people thinking in the right way. May not give the answer, but at least if you ask the right question, that's as good as getting the right answer, actually. My father was a university professor, and uh, he used to set an examination question paper for his students. And it was, set an examination paper in this subject. In other words, he told the students to ask the questions that they would if they were setting the exam. And that told him more about whether the students had really grasped what he taught them than just setting them questions and getting the answers. If you really understand a, a, a problem or a situation, you can ask the right question. And if you ask the right question, you're more than halfway to the right answer. So really, I've tried to ask the right questions about God, about his world, and about why he does allow natural disasters, because the fact is he does. He could stop them, I really believe he could, but he doesn't. And that's what causes the question, then why doesn't he stop things that hurt us and destroy life? Well, read that question, that booklet as one attempt to answer the question which all of us ask.